Hello and welcome back to this channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally, an art textiles teacher. And for you today, in this video, what I want to do is I've got this massive sheet of a linen that I got from a charity shop and I've been wondering what to do with it. I knew it was a good price when I bought it at the charity shop in Didsbury and it is some Zara fabric. And what I want to do is to cut all of it up into really long wide strips and then I want to use the sewing machine as a bit of a conveyor belt and I want to sew machine gathers all the way through each of the strips and then I want to design them on the mannequin and see what I can do. All right then, let's get into it. Okay gang, here we go. These are all the strips. I've mainly sort of put them about that wide. And yeah, I started off with, I cut a section of it and then I tore it. You might've seen that in the time-lapse and it kind of decreased as it got further down the rip and I didn't really like that effect. What I'm wanting is something a bit wider. So. That they're all a bit different, to be honest with you, but that's that's good. That was the top of the, it was a sheet. Perhaps it was a bed sheet. I'm going to use that one. I'm going to see if I can sew through that and gather it. But because it's quite thick, it might not work, but I'll still try it. So, yeah, let's get cracking. So, first of all, I am using up holstery thread because I think that when I do the gathering of the threads, I want to have a really strong thread. So, I really recommend that book from Amazon. It's absolutely brilliant. At the moment, I'm using machine thread on my bobbin, but if that doesn't work, then I will probably transfer some upholstery thread onto the bobbin as well. So, Here is my first strip of fabric. I don't mind that it's fraying already. That's okay. Make these stitches really large too. Huge. And I'm going to use straight stitch. So I've got my presser foot at the top of the fabric. I'm just going to keep the fabric out of the way. Got my largest stitch, I'm going to put a bit of pressure on my pedal and off we go. I'm just putting my hands underneath the fabric and feeding it through. This is what it looks like. It is gorgeous a gorgeous ruffle and it's twisting naturally itself which i'm loving that's the fabric manipulation going on of the tight stitching through the middle so all nice and gathered and then as i said the fabric might fray but the linen has taken really well to that yeah i want to make tons of those okay drop my press foot in the center of my width of fabric and off we go. Ah, oh, it's run out of thread. The bobbin is empty, so just need to I'll keep I'll keep with the machine thread. So let's try it this way. 
around. I've just filled the bobbin up. Thank you so much for all the comments and the likes for the last video, by the way. Really enjoyed doing the square folds. Okay, we've got three there. They are just lush, they are. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Brilliant. Okay, this is where we're up to. I tell you what, as I am sewing, I'm thinking, oh, imagine if these were dip dyed. That would be great. It would take really well on this fabric as well. And I've remembered actually that it was Oxfam that I bought this Zara sheet from. And I just thought that's a really good price. Nice bright sunny day again today. Look at all this. Got a ton of it going on. We've just a little bit left to do. Okay, this is the one that I ripped. Okay, so this one is the end of the sheet. So you can see that it's quite thick. It's like doubled up the linen, I think. Yeah. So I'm interested to see how this is gonna take. It could really hold the ruffle, the gathering really well. So let's have a look. So that was one of the widest pieces I cut. So let's have a look. That's really quite lovely, isn't it? Hmm. Look at the way it's twisting naturally, like that. That was the one that started quite narrow and went wider as it went along. And that was the double thickness of the linen. And this one was another tapered end, end one, I think. So look. Yeah. Yep, I think so. Nice. And that's the pile that we've got. So very excited to see what we can do playing around on the mannequin with this. Hello. So sadly, I'm going to have to take the dusty pink sculpture off. But if you want to see this video, that was the last one that I did. So check it out. Sorry, I didn't say which one this one. It's square quarter folds. I should have um, had a real think about which videos I was doing back to back there because I was really happy to keep this one on the mannequin, but I've only got one mannequin, which was such a lovely gift from the department I used to work in, in the old school that I was at. And I use it all the time, as you can see, but I've got the one and what I really should have done was done a different type of video that didn't require me using this mannequin again, because I was really enjoying seeing this one. I just left the studio door open and as you come down the stairs and in the hallway you can just have a little glance at it and yeah it's really enjoying the dusty pink as you know one of my favourite colours as one of you commented on 
recently. So what I'm going to do right now is I've got my mannequin and got my pins and I'm just going to have a little play around with what I can do with this. You show me where we're going. You show me. Come on. Let's go. You show me. Where are we going? Let's go get a treat. Oh, you know where it is. You know where it is. Here we go. So yeah, it's um, it's grown, it's grown quite giant. I'm enjoying doing it though, so I'm gonna crack on. Did you see Layla just go wild then, sitting on it all? She's just been outside and she just gets a little bit feisty. What's really nice about this is that I'm just really enjoying just playing around with sculpting with it um, I don't even mind that it's got no colour whatsoever I just like the texture and building it up and yeah it's getting quite large on the top area I'm still playing around with that but I've got one of the thicker ones here so I'm not sure let's try And then finally, last one. Are you intrigued, Layla, by what I've got here? She looks shattered. Where have you been, hey? I've got one last little one here. Well, quite a large one. Love that. Look how it's twisting. It's draping down. Hmm. Okay, this is what we've got. Not sure what you make of it. It's a bit different, isn't it? <laughs> I only really do these different techniques and experiments because, well, A, I enjoy it, but B, I just hope that there might be things that you could have a go at yourselves that might be appropriate. So it's just something that you could do with lots of ruffles sculpting with it. I'm liking just kind of wrapping some of the gathers around and twisting them over. I like a bit of height. What's it look like at the back? Yeah. There we go. What do you reckon, Layla? One thing for sure is maybe I need to get more sheets, old sheets from charity shops, different types of fabrics, and just play around with scale because I'm really enjoying messing around on the larger mannequin. So maybe that's what I need to do. Someone wants to get me to try anything out with bigger bits of fabrics. Do mention that in the comments. If this is something you're interested in.
So I hope you enjoyed this video today and if it gave you some sort of inspiration to do your own work or to give you an idea with your GCSE or A level or if you're, it doesn't really even matter, just some inspo for you if you're just a creative person, not just a creative person, a creative person. If you've enjoyed this video, oh no, you hit the play. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and even better still, please give me some sort of response, comment, and I will see you in the very next video shortly. Bye.